You guys have been asking, begging, and demanding for a continuation of this series that we've got, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So yeah, we'll be going back into it. I'll try and do this more often, uh, especially if that's something that you guys want. You guys were insane on the support for the first episode. You guys went nuts, more so than I even imagined you guys could possibly do. It was just unbelievable, honestly. So I don't wanna be like one of those guys that begs for you to subscribe and you know shows up the statistics and like blah 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 you guys aren't subscribing i hate you you know if you subscribe that's good on you if you don't that's still good on you as long as you're enjoying what's happening that's all i care about it keeps the channel going it keeps me going and frankly it's not even that hard to do so thanks to those who have subscribed and if you haven't already feel free to do so whenever okay so we what do you do one of the main things i would like to do is set up a more permanent settlement for our, our like you know, our world. We are kind of living off the land here, and we're gonna run out of resources pretty quick if we just stick to doing what we're doing right now. So getting stuff like a, a farm, potentially a better house on top of all that, that's all gonna help us out a ton in the future. So I think the sooner we do that, the better. We can start working on that now, and we'll be just fine. I do want to build a fancy house. I'm still gonna be living in the dirt, People, people seem to really like when I do that for some reason, so just just for them, we'll continue to live underground like a little mole, but I do want to style it up, make it look just a little bit better. So that's probably what we'll do here uh, today. Probably first thing we do, uh, obviously we're going to want to set up a farm and everything. We could probably do that in the new home that we're going to build. Let's go ahead and get the proper tools and we'll start setting up a new better home so we can start expanding this place building time or digging i guess i don't know while we're building this whole thing i'm probably just going to keep coming back out here to plant more trees and just keep getting the wood supply going i'm running low on coal that's definitely not good I'm trying to think on how I want to design a house, honestly. Uh, I'm not really good at designing these things, so if it doesn't turn out well, uh, we're just going to cope. Also, while I'm building this, I do want to give a big thanks to everybody who has been commenting on the past video. I asked for advice and you guys delivered it. A lot of it. Big props to all of you who have been just get, throwing tons of advice at me. I now know that the water zombies are called drowned and they apparently can give cool things every now and then. I know that there is uh, a bunch of weird things underground and bedrock apparently goes very, very far down. I've learned a lot of things thanks to you guys. You guys are seriously helping me out, especially because this is hardcore. I know it was an idiot move to make this hardcore, but it, it, it just makes it all that more, all the more interesting to watch a dude who hasn't played Minecraft in years play it for the first time, and then also do it on hard, hardcore like a doofus, because that's funny, right? Oh, I hear a spider? Hello! Also, I've learned that apparently the stripped wood is just wood, but you right-click it with an axe? Like, that's what they told me? Oh yeah, look at that. Huh. That's crazy. Maybe we could use this as the design for the house, perhaps. So according to one of the comments in the first video, this apparently makes it impossible for zombies to break the door or something like that it's something along those lines but apparently building your door in reverse uh will stop them but i'm struggling to find a way to set this up there we go so this will apparently stop them from being able to break the door open which is really good because this is hardcore mode 
And on hardcore mode, they can break doors, and we don't want that. So we'll just stick to this, instead of making those silly iron doors. You know, for the fact that I really don't know much about building, this is actually coming along pretty nicely, <laughs> gonna be honest. Like, this, is, this isn't this is that bad at all. I'm, I'm sure there's, like, some people out there who are, like, getting all cranky with me because I'm not exactly building, you know, like a flawless build master or whatever. But I'm proud of what this is looking like so far, so I'm happy. Although, actually, maybe I could remove the dirt above entirely and make a sort of window here. That might be really cool. Hold on, do we have any extra glass? We do, but it's just in the form of panes. So I'm gonna go out here. I'm gonna grab a little bit more sand and then we'll maybe do that. Uh, let me go down under first, break through the center, and then we'll place glass. Oh, perfect just punch a hole through this and then we'll set the glass there and then we'll just leave that hole there and then we'll have a little window into the sky just like that looks all funny and cute and whatnot i also decided to set up this whole flower pot thing and i gave the flower a buddy because there's really no center area where i can build that thing anyways sadly but that's okay giving it a buddy isn't exactly a problem so i think this main room, not entirely sure what to do with it yet, but on over to the left here, I think what I will do is build a farm of sorts. We can have a farm underground down here. We do need a lot of wood for this though. So these trees are gonna have to definitely work in overtime if we want to have the, uh, the right amount of wood for this job. All right, so that's basically this whole area done. And now we can just start working on this farm area. I think having a farm here is probably gonna be a really good idea because we need the wheat, not just for stuff like bread, but we have a cow, uh, like herd, whatever you wanna call it out there, not too far. So we could totally herd some in, make a farm on the outside for the cows and we'll be golden. We'll have access to plenty of food and be basically set on that. And then once we get a sustainable food source, we can just uh, focus more on exploration and mining for more resources. We could totally check out that big cave back at the spawn point. There's a bunch that we can do, but I think first thing is definitely getting a sustainable source of food. And another really big thing I need to do is get water sources. So I think that might be what I do first. I might, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll stop the uh, building process and quickly come down here to get my hands on a bit more iron. We need iron so we can make buckets, and once we make buckets, we can start easily collecting our uh, water for the farm. And we don't have to worry about that, because I would love to get water for that, but we don't have uh, the buckets to carry it. So we need to go mining just a little bit more. We need to sidetrack a bit here. Okay, we have a bit of iron. This will be plenty. All we really need is just one bucket and we can collect all the water we need. We can just make an infinite water source and we'll be just fine. All right, while that's cooking, I'm gonna come back down here, go over here and I'm gonna put a two by two area right here just for an infinite water source. I'm also gonna make another stone pick. I don't wanna I don't want to chew through the iron pickaxe for this build. Need to make myself a bed soon. 
uh, because I want to be able to sleep through the night. Sleeping through the night is super important for me because then I don't have to burrow into my little home and play it safe. Uh, and I can instead just skip the whole night in general. And also because apparently there's something that comes out at night if you don't sleep much. I, I really hope that that's just a joke, but <laughs> knowing Minecraft, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually send something your way due to a lack of sleep. I think this is as far as the farm really needs to go. This 6x6 area will be more than enough for now. So we're going to start planting our wheat seeds. Yeah, we'll have a sustainable food source in no time. Now that looks pretty dang cool. We just have to uh, finish up this roof and then, yeah, we'll be done. You know what? Uh, we're going to go back out to that island again and collect even more sand. I feel like uh, making a glass roof for the farm would be super cool. I really do like what they've done with the ocean. The ocean used to be a bleak, dead area. Really, the most you'd see is like a squid and, you know, the very rare uh, like ocean monument things with the guardian stuff. That was really all you could see down in the ocean back then, but now it's like full of life. It really seems like there's reasons to explore the unknown ocean, which is very scary for me because I do not like the ocean. I don't even think we need to collect all this wood as of right now. Like we're stocked. We have plenty of wood for now. Like, look at this. So much wood. Don't even need more. We'll hold off on it for now. Anyways, let's go into here. I think we'll actually use wood for the fuel because we have so much we could just keep making more wood see that easy anyways we'll line this with wood and then this part right here this is where the glass will come in and here we go we have a wheat farm just set up in our house. This looks absolutely amazing. I love how this turned out. And yeah, uh, so I think that just leaves the uh, area back here. I also think for this room, uh, we could make some storage systems on these like uh, rooms since there's nothing really much to it. Let me actually do that. Let me, I'm gonna go out, collect even more wood. And then we'll go ahead and make a storage system. We will put stone and then wood. Fill this back up. And then now because it is stairs above it, if I'm not wrong, we can still open this. Oh, perfect. So now we just have this cute little storage unit sitting in the wall. This is perfect. This is actually so cool. I love this. We might make those double chests like stacked on top of each other later. But for now, I don't think we will need that. This room, however, I am going to do that. I'm going to double up because later on when we do a bunch of mining, we're probably going to have a bunch of storage needed for all of the stone and whatnot that we mine. So definitely going to need a bunch of that. Some things will have to be moved the mine. We're gonna have to do something about it. We're probably just gonna use like a ladder. So not a big problem. I need another shovel. Oh my God. We're using our tools so much. Ugh. Oh my God. I'm still trying to get used to the whole swimming thing in this game. I keep forgetting you can hit sprint and your character starts to swim. I need to remember that. That might actually be the death of me next time. I forget. All right, let's get out of here before that zombie decides to take more interest into me. There we go. That is good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is 
parts. Uh, we need to fix the mine shaft that we've created. We need to make a way into it. Or what we could do is just go mining in that other cave. I think that's what we might do instead. Do a little bit of exploration in the, uh, that cave that we completely decided to ignore last time. Oh, hello there. Later on, we'll definitely be organizing this chest, but for now, we'll just toss whatever we want to toss into it. And we'll deal with it later. Make ourselves some more armor, and there we go. We're now looking pretty dapper with it. If you guys do want me to make a longer one, I do plan to keep making more, but if you want me to keep playing this even more, like, way more than I plan to, just make sure you let me know. You know, like the video, subscribe, just simple stuff like that. It's all I ask for. I don't need anything extreme and I'll keep it up. That's all it is. And if you want, feel free to comment any more information that you think I should know to keep myself alive. I try to keep myself spoiler free. I want to dive into this prepared, but still enough of a noob that things surprise me in this game. As for next time, we will probably make a new farm for the cows nearby we can probably work on making this lead into that mine shaft that uh, is down there. Or maybe we can go explore that water area or the cave. You know what? I'll actually leave that up to you guys. If you guys want me to go explore out in the water in the next area first, make sure you let me know. And if you guys want me to explore towards that area, uh, that cave that goes off in that direction, let me know in, uh, about that instead. I'll leave it up to you guys in the comments whether or not you want me to do one or the other first. We might be able to do both in one video next time, but just in case, let me know which one you want uh, done first and we'll do it first because I could go either way. Uh, other than that, that's enough for me. We have big plans for this series. We're still alive somehow. I don't know how. I'm kind of an idiot. I, I genuinely don't know how I'm staying alive. Thanks so much for sticking around. You guys are great. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.